What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to watchOS 11.1, the latest software update for the Apple Watch that has some sort of Apple intelligence features, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the Beta 5 that has just been released. And for me on my Apple Watch Ultra 1, this update size comes in at 216 megabytes and I'm updating from watchOS 11.1 beta 4 the previous update and this is not all that Apple released today you can see when it comes to iOS 18.1 they released the latest beta which has an A build and this is the second consecutive A build and at the same time you can see alongside the iOS 18.1 beta 7 they also released iPad OS 18.1 beta 7 tvOS 18.1 beta 5 we have watchOS 11.1 beta 5 of course this is the video for that and we have vision os 2.1 beta 5 unfortunately there is no mac os 15.1 beta 7 yet and that's just all the updates that we released today so let me quickly update my device and then we're gonna go see what has changed or what's new with this update my device is now up to date and now let's look at the new changes we'll begin with the software changes by going into the about this watch section you can see the new build number that we have on watchOS 11.1 is 22R 5575a and i can confirm that on the apple's website this is the same one that we have for watchos uh 11.1 beta 5 22 r 5575a before there was an issue where they were mismatched but at this point in time it seems to be exact now what has changed with this update isn't really much comparing to watchOS 11.1 beta 4 but I want to highlight Apple intelligence on the Apple watch because watchOS 11.1 does introduce some Apple intelligent features for the Apple watch and the first one that actually had an issue and was resolved is this one so if you go into like a focus mode and then you go to this reduce interruption focus mode and you turn it on it's going to look something like this and keep in mind that this is something that you are going to see even if you have an iphone that is not the iphone 15 pro or 15 pro max or even the 16 iphone 16 series this reduce interruption mode that uses some sort of ai or according to apple machine learning to be able to reduce interruption in this focus mode is available for the apple watch and the iphone that is paired with your apple watch doesn't have to be an iphone that supports apple intelligence i had this feature when i was actually using my iphone 14 pro which doesn't support apple intelligence and unlike the previous updates where this would make the apple watch freeze and unresponsive this one actually fixes that issue and you can use it and you can set it accordingly and when you do set it of course it will be mirrored on your iPhone as you can see and then after some time that little notification is going to be or is going to disappear now another new Apple intelligence feature that's here for the Apple watch is the notification section so if you use your digital crown oh it's actually glitched with this update now before I updated it was okay but you can see when I try to go to my notifications okay now it seems to have worked you can see this is something that's new and it's the summary notifications for your emails messages twitter or social media notifications that you might be able to get you can see this is a typical example of a twitter notification that has been summarized using the apple intelligence or machine learning and instead of showing you the whole tweet which you can click and then read on you can see it's been summarized and when it's summarized you have this little uh drop down arrow with the two lines that are going to tell you that hey the notification that you're looking at has been summarized and this of course works with many different applications they don't have to be the Apple default apps and that is something that's going to be seen throughout the various notifications that you get also something that is there on the iPhone that I notice if I open up my email application you know I won't do that because there's a lot of stuff in there but if I open up my email application it does do the priority email and it puts it on top of the email but on the Apple watch when I open up my email and go to my unread inbox it doesn't seem to be doing the prioritizing properly so you do get the summary notifications when you go to like your notifications for emails but the priority doesn't seem to be here or 
effective yet with watchOS 11.1. Another thing that has been updated with the Apple Watch, to be specific if you have a newer Apple Watch that supports sleep apnea, is that now it's supported and is available. So under health, when you search for sleep and go down a little bit, you see the sleep apnea notifications and you can read all about sleep apnea. But now you can see that under this section, when it comes to sleep apnea notifications, it tells you that sleep apnea notifications are not available on your Apple Watch. And it if your region is not supported, then it's going to tell you that, hey, your region is not supported, but my region is supported. But the drawback that I have right here is the fact that my Apple Watch Ultra 1 is not supported with these sleep apnea notifications. But if you have the Apple Watch Series 9, Apple Watch Series 10 or Apple Watch Ultra 2, then you are going to get the sleep apnea notifications and it will be available for you. But keep in mind that in order for you to get the actual sleep apnea notifications on your Apple Watch, the iPhone that's paired with your Apple Watch needs to be on iOS 18.1 beta 6 or newer. And just like I showed, the latest iOS version that just came out is iOS 18.1 beta 7 that has this build number that you can see right there. So make sure you're both your Apple Watch and iPhone are supported. And also you're on the latest watchOS version and you'll be able to use the sleep apnea notifications. Since I've updated my Apple Watch to watchOS 11.1 beta 5, if you watched my video and my PSA video where I was warning users not to update because of the freezing issue that was being caused by repeatedly pressing the digital crown or by going into the step stopwatch, which would essentially stop the Apple Watch, I have been testing this for some time and I can see or I haven't been able to replicate that issue. At least for now, that bug seems to have been resolved, which is something that's good. And also when it comes to the camera controls for the Apple watch before i had an issue where it would delay so much but here you can see it's pretty much instant and is working as well and there was an issue before that has been resolved that had to do with the messages that wouldn't synchronize properly so if you have messages that were not syncing properly on your apple watch that issue has been resolved and i sent i sent a few messages including links to see whether this was going to like synchronize with the iPhone and Apple Watch and I can confirm that that bug has been resolved and this works pretty well. One of the biggest issues that watchOS 11 and watchOS 11.1 seemed to introduce was the battery drain issue and I've been using watchOS 11.1 in beta for some time and I can tell that starting with the watchOS 11.1 beta 4 it seems to have made a big improvement when it comes to the battery. So here, um, okay, my, my history actually disappeared. It doesn't show when I last charged my Apple Watch, but I had last charged my Apple Watch to 100% on Sunday morning. And today in the morning, my Apple Watch was actually at pretty much close to like 40%, which is really good. Usually with the watchOS 11 betas, I wasn't able to finish a day, but it seems like this watchOS 11.1 starting with the beta 4 and beta 5 includes the bug fixes that drain the battery that were introduced with watchOS 11.0.1 because Apple did fix some battery drain issues that were draining the Apple Watch with watchOS 11.0.1 and it's good to see that at least for me in my experience with the Apple Watch Ultra 1 those bugs have been resolved. Now in terms of when we could see this update because as you can see the build number for this update ends with an A I'm hoping maybe next week on the 21st or 22nd, we'll get to see the release candidate version of watchOS 11.1. And then on the 28th of October, we might get to see the official release of watchOS 11.1 officially to the public, to those that have a supported devices. So basically that's how this update came in for me on my Apple Watch Ultra 1. Let me know what issues you're experiencing that you want me to test out. And if you at this point in the game, you haven't yet updated your Apple Watch to watchOS 11.1, I don't think it's worth updating too since the release is just about to come out but other than that that's how this update came in for me on my apple watch let me know what you think about this video if you liked it leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace